Jacksonville's African American Heritage Trail is a self-guided tour throughout the city that allows you to explore sites that are important to African American history. We're at the Kingsley Plantation, which is part of the National Park Service's Timucuan Ecological and Historic Preserve. Beginning in the 1700s, Sea Island cotton was grown here. Visit Kingsley Plantation to hear stories of both the free and the enslaved. Explore historic structures such as the plantation owner's house, the kitchen house, the barn, and the nation's largest collection of tabby slave homes. This site is the birthplace of African American archaeology, and by studying these artifacts, we give voice to those silenced by enslavement. Hi, I'm Bruce Vacca. I'm the Education Director at the Walter Jones Park in Mandarin, Florida. And today we are in the oldest one-room schoolhouse in Duval County. It was built in 1898 for the African American community in Mandarin to counter the Jim Crow laws and the segregation laws that were being developed in the 1890s. We have wonderful information in here and the park and the schoolhouse are open every Saturday and it's free. This is the Norman Studios. We're the only silent film studio left in Jacksonville, and we're the only race film studio left in the whole United States. Race films were films for all black audiences, and they were with all black cast, and very integral to changing the attitudes about race in America. Richard Norman made eight movies here. The most famous one is The Flying Ace, about a World War I pilot. Welcome to the J.P. Small Ballpark, which was originally built in 1912. It was a major stop for the Negro League. Its local team was the Jacksonville Red Caps. In 1953, the Jacksonville Tars hired a young 18-year-old athlete by the name of Hank Aaron, who went on to become the world home run hitter in the major leagues. We would like to invite you to come and see the park and learn more about the Negro League. The Ritz Theater and Museum is located in the historic La Villa neighborhood. It features the history of African Americans in Northeast Florida. We're standing in our featured exhibit, Lift Every Voice and Sing, that focuses on the life of James Weldon Johnson and his brother John Rosalind, the writers of the historic song. Exhibits also feature historic barbershops, churches, and businesses that made this community great. We encourage you to visit the museum and the other historic sites along the African American Heritage Trail.